This is going to be a three part video on diabetes. First, what is diabetes mellitus? Second, how diabetes affects the eye? And third is going to be the management of diabetic eye diseases. The first video, I'll be talking on what is diabetes mellitus? What are the various types? What are the symptoms? And what are the causes of diabetes? My second video will be how diabetes affects the eye, what is diabetic retinopathy and what are the symptoms and signs of diabetic eye diseases. These are the various photos showing the various stages of diabetic eye diseases or diabetic retinopathy which I will be talking in my second video. The third video will be how to diagnose and manage diabetic eye diseases and how one can take care of the eye against diabetes. Hello, I am Dr. Sriram Ramalingam, ophthalmologist and medical director, Pradhya Netsralai, located at RT Nagar, Bangalore. India is one of the epicenters of global diabetes mellitus pandemic. The causes are rapid socio-economic development, changes in our food and eating habits, and increased susceptibility to an Indian individual. These causes have led to an explosive increase in the prevalence of diabetes in India over the last four decades. Most of the patients are undiagnosed. So coming to the topic, what is diabetes mellitus? For normal functioning of the human cell, it requires glucose, which is a form of sugar. In diabetes, the body has difficulty in moving glucose from the blood into the cells. The cells are starved of glucose despite it being present in the blood. There is an hormone called as insulin which helps in transporting the glucose from the blood vessels into the human cells. And there is another hormone called as glucagon which helps in transporting glucose from the human cell into the blood vessels. Insulin and glucagon are produced by a cells called as islets of Langerhans in the organ called as pancreas. There are certain cells called insulin receptors in the muscle and fat tissue. When the insulin comes and attaches to this insulin receptors, it activates a glucose transport cells in the muscle and fat cells which goes and attaches to the insulin receptors. When the glucose transport cell attaches to the insulin receptors, this helps in transporting the glucose from the blood vessel into the cell. In diabetes mellitus, this process of transporting of glucose from the blood into the cell is affected. There are basically two types of diabetes. Type 1, 10% of this diabetic population have this. The remaining 90% have type 2 diabetes. The difference is the underlying mechanism by which the body is unable to transport glucose from the blood into the cells. In type 1 diabetes mellitus, here, the body does not make enough insulin because of the destruction of the cells in the pancreas that secrete insulin. 90% of the beta cells, the insulin secreting cells in the pancreas are destroyed before the symptoms are noticed. So, what are the symptoms of diabetes mellitus? Polyphagia, that means excessive hunger. Though there is a lot of glucose in the blood, the cells are starved for glucose. So, a person have, feels excessively hungry. Glucosuria, which means glucose in the urine. Because there is excess of glucose in the blood, which gets filtered by the kidney and this leads to excessive urine containing glucose. Polyuria is excessive urination and polydyspia means excessive thirst. Now, coming to type 2 diabetes mellitus, here the body makes insulin, but the cells do not take up the glucose with the help of insulin. 
insulin levels are normal in the blood in the initial stages but the cells are not able to move the glucose from the blood into the cells what are the risk factors of type 2 diabetes mellitus most common is obesity or a fat person lack of exercise hypertension though all these are been presumed the exact mechanism is not known the reason be not all person who are obese have diabetes so genetic factors may probably play a important role in type 2 diabetes mellitus what are the symptoms of type 2 diabetes mellitus are the same as type 1 like polyphagia glucosuria polyuria polydyspia unlike type 1 diabetes the insulin is present in the circulating blood for the other types of diabetes gestational diabetes which occurs usually in the third trimester of pregnancy thought to be due to the pregnancy hormone which interferes with the insulin action on the insulin receptors other type is drug induced diabetes mellitus medication which increases the blood glucose levels works like type 2 diabetes is insulin resistant how do you diagnose diabetes mellitus based on the symptoms and the diagnosis is done doing a blood test who has recommended if the fasting blood sugar level is between 100 to 125 mg per deciliter it is considered to be pre diabetic and if the postprandial blood sugar that is after 1 and 1/2 hours of eating the blood sugar level is between 140 to 199 it is considered to be pre diabetic and if the hba1c is less than 6.4 it's again considered as pre diabetic a diabetic person who has got a blood sugar level fasting blood sugar level above 126 mg per deciliter or a random blood sugar level greater than 200 mg per deciliter or a postprandial blood sugar level greater than 200 mg per deciliter or a hba1c of 6.5 are considered to be a diabetic person coming to what happens in the long term in the body to the high blood sugar levels the most important changes that occurs in the body it occurs in the blood vessels tiny blood vessels called as microvasculatures are damaged and they leak blood and it blood and its products into the tissue the capillary walls get thickened and make the movement of oxygen out of the capillaries into the tissue difficult and this leads to decrease oxygenation in the cells and which is which is turned called as hypoxia the medium and large size blood vessels also get thickened these changes in the blood vessels affects all the organs of the body like the eye which is called as diabetic retinopathy the kidney it is called as diabetic retinopathy diabetic nephropathy and in the heart it leads to heart attack but the eye is the only organ where these changes can be easily easily visualized my next video will be how diabetes affects our eye or what is called as diabetic eye diseases thank you for the patient listening